So, hi, uh, HR Digital today asked us to take part in their CEO interview um, series. So we're really excited to be here. And um, so I'm here with Eston Chung, who is the CEO of Canopy. So thank you for joining. Thanks, Leo. Now, given that video is a big part of what we do, it's only fitting that we're in front of the camera. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Sounds good. So first question, um, tell us a bit more about Canopy and what you do. Sure, so, um, so we're Canopy. Um, we help companies attract and hire millennials. Um, so in particular, we help companies create video job descriptions. And so these are interviews with uh, hiring managers um, to give a bit more detail uh, about what it's like to work uh, in the role, uh, the day to day, their expectations, um, what it's like to work in his or her team. Uh, videos are five times more engaging uh, than traditional text job descriptions and they also help to answer a lot of the questions that millennials um, have uh, you know, around the workplace uh, you know, and around you know, the person they're ultimately working for as well. You know, as they say, ultimately people leave bosses, not jobs. That's very true. And uh, who would you say are your key competitors? Um, so I think the key competitors uh, would be the, the Muse over in the US. Um, you know, they were one of the first to showcase um, you know, the workplace uh, a bit more than uh, just a traditional um, you know, job description. Um, there's also Glints, which uh, focus on millennials here in Southeast Asia. Um, and they focus more on entry-level positions. Okay. And uh, what were you doing before Canopy? Um, so uh, I was previously working um, for a, a bulge bracket investment bank, um, doing mergers and acquisitions. Uh, more focused on the technology space. Um, I spent a bit of time uh, looking at online job platforms as part of that, which was actually you know some of the inspiration behind um, Canopy. Okay, interesting. And and how are you guys funded? Uh, so um, we were bootstrapped in the beginning, um, and also lucky enough to uh, have some very supportive friends and family. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that's um, that was about fifteen months ago. Okay. And uh, you know what have you had to give up to you know any sacrifices to to make Canopy work? Um, oh, I mean, naturally, you know, um, there's time with uh, family, and particularly my, I have a, a son who was 12 months when we, we started Canopy, and he's now three, and um, you know, time just flown, and obviously, wish I could spend more time with him. Mm. And uh, you know, I guess there'd be highs and lows. Could you mm. give us some examples? Um, I guess on the on the lows, maybe to begin with, um, you know, I, we actually launched initially as a referral platform, and you know, the realization uh, one day when you know, that, that wasn't working, um, you know, obviously a bit of a low, um, but look, we, we you know, um, gathered ourselves together pretty quickly and managed to, to pivot, um, and here we are today, uh, you know, and you know, in terms of the highs, um, it was great to see, you know, working with um, one of our customers, Datum, who, you know, they just raised uh, an ICO, looking to grow their team really quickly and being able to help them hire four people um, you know, uh, in a very short period of time um, sort of gave us you know, a, a belief in, in what we're doing and you know, that this is definitely working. Excellent. And uh, for, for people who are thinking of starting their own business, what, what kind of advice would you give them? Um, you, know, I, you know, ultimately the team is um, extremely important. Uh, make sure you surround yourself not only with um, you know, people who are smart and have different skill sets but um, you know I think you've got to make sure that you, uh, you know, have a great culture look after each other be generous because um, ultimately it'll be the people that uh, are going to drive execution and, and help you win mm. no, that's great so yeah that uh, thank you for sharing and right. um, thanks Olivia thank you